All right, so again, we're going to be factoring polynomials when there's three specific things that have to be in place to use these steps. Just like our first notes, we want to make sure that we have a quadratic. So the degree is 2, which we see here. Again, this is a trinomial. where we have three terms. But the third criteria is different. This is when our a is greater than one, meaning there is going to be a coefficient here that is not invisible and is greater than one. Another thing that's different is it's much more challenging to use an X puzzle on these. It's possible, but it's pretty tricky. So we're going to cross this out and remind ourselves that when there's a number here, the X puzzle is not very helpful. I don't use the X puzzle when I'm solving these. Um, after I printed these, I realized I wished I'd had a fourth spot for a step. So if you could add another box to the bottom of your notes here. And then we are going to factor this example as we talk through these steps. <coughs> Excuse me. We are going to factor 9x squared plus 66x plus 21. Step 1. Step one is to factor out the GCF, but I want you to put in parentheses, if needed. This is not always something we have to do. But if we do factor out the GCF, we want to place it in front of our parentheses. Let's use this example to talk about what that step means. When I look at 9, 66, and 21, I see a common factor. What number could we be divided out of 9, 66, and 21? 3 is the GCF here. So I'm going to divide this by 3. And I'm going to rewrite the trinomial underneath it with that 3 divided out. 9 divided by 3 is 3x three squared. 66 divided by 3 is 22x. And 21 divided by 3 is 7. So now I've got this. I want to set up my parentheses. And I'm going to put that 3 in front. Because the X puzzle isn't helpful here, instead we're going to use a box. So our step two is to set up our box. And you want to place your A term and your C term in the box.
And now we're going to, for step three, solve the box to find the B term. So we know we're going to have to have a 3x on one of these and an x on the other. We also know that you can only get what's in this box by multiplying. And 7 makes us an, a pretty easy one because there's only two factors of 7, right? And they are 7 and 1. But this does matter. It's either going to be 1 or 7 here or 1 and 7 here. But because of this 3x, it does change where they go. There's a very specific place. See if you can figure out if 1 or 7 goes here and if 1 or 7 goes here. Because what number are we trying to get? We're trying to get 22x. That's our B term. That's what we're trying to find right now. What's going to go in this spot up here? The 1. And what's going to go in this spot down here? 7. Let's see if that works. 1 times x is going to give us 1x. 3 times x is going to give us 21x. 1x and 21x does equal 22x. So that is our solved box. Our step four, complete the parentheses. Three X has to be in a parentheses with plus one, and X has to be in a parentheses with plus seven. Again, you were doing this yesterday on the whiteboards we're capturing this for our notes, so in the future, you yourself can remember what your thinking has been this week. <laughs>